Hello everyone, welcome back to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce integration series. In today's video, we'll see XML parsing in Apex. So the agenda of this video is, we would be discussing what exactly is XML, why do we need XML parsing in Salesforce, what is DOM parser in Apex, and we'll see an example scenario using a DOM parser. So what exactly is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language and it is used for storing or exchanging the data between different systems or applications. It has a tree-like structure where the topmost element is called root element and it can have one or more child elements. Also those child elements can have one or more child elements resulting in formation of tree-like structures. Okay. So we have already discussed XML in depth in one of our previous videos. If you want, you can go ahead and watch that video so that you will understand what exactly is the structure of XML, how you can write an XML document request and what all different attributes are there in XML request. Okay. Why do we need XML parsing in Salesforce? So parsing XML data in Salesforce would allow us to extract the request from the third party application and convert it into an Apex object and use it in our Apex code. Okay. So it would make our life easier there. Now Salesforce has already provided DOM parser, which is a built-in parser in Apex that creates an in-memory representation of XML document, which would help us in manipulating the document using a tree-like structure of nodes and elements. Now, this is very important because it will uh, make our life easier to parse an XML request and we can easily extract the data from it and assign it to some records or do some other operations on that. Okay. Let's go and check Apex reference guide. You can see there we have this document class listed over there. Okay. So we do have a different different methods. Let's say create root elements or get root element, then load the XML string or to XML string. So all these methods you can use while working with XML request in Salesforce Apex. In today's video, we would be taking an example of a Salesforce Apex request in XML format. And we would be discussing how we can use these DOM parsers and document class and these different methods to parse the XML request and get the information from that and create some records in Salesforce. Okay. So this is our example scenario. So uh, a third party application would be sending a request in an XML format and it would be containing some account records details. Okay. So we need to fetch those details of account record and assign it to account records and insert those account records into Salesforce, right? So I have already written a class, a web service class here that is XML parser, uh, which has this HTTP post method. And I'm using these DOM classes and document classes to pass this request and create some account records in Salesforce. So we would be discussing each and every line here, how exactly we are doing it, okay? So let's go to whiteboard. Before that, I just wanted to mention one thing. Let's say you are given a very complex request in this form. It would be very difficult to understand or interpret that request, right? So to understand it better, you can just format this request using some online tools, okay? So for example, you can go on to this XML formatter. You can paste your request over here and it will give you a formatted request. Now this request, form is more easier to understand compared to this, right? So that's how you can achieve that. Now let's go back to our whiteboard. I have a request pasted over here on the left hand side and I have my Apex method from the web service which I have added over here on the right hand side. Now we'll discuss line by line and explain you what exactly we are fetching from this XML request, okay? So initially, I'm just using a rest context class to get the string value of this XML and assign it to this variable XML, okay? Next, I'm using the document class of this DOM parser library to uh, create an instance of this document and using this load method to load the XML request onto the parser, okay? Now, this will create an in-memory representation of a XML in a tree-like structure and we would be easily able to pass this request. Right. Next, we have this get root element method. Right. So this get root element method is used to fetch the root element from the request. And in our request, this accounts is the root element. Right. So we are creating a 
uh, root variable using dom.xml node and fetching the root element using get root element and assigning it to this root variable okay so this will be having this accounts uh, entire xml right next we need to get the individual account records from this request right so that we can assign those field values to uh, account instance correct so for that we are iterating over the child elements of this root element now to fetch the child element you can use this method get child elements of a node okay so let's say right now we need to fetch the child elements of root element right and we have root element in this variable so we are using root dot get child elements now this will give us this two child elements this one and this one right and we'll iterate over those right so we are iterating over those here and next uh, we want to get the field of this particular account record right so for that also we can use the get child element method to get child element of this particular individual account or this particular individual account right so for that again we are creating a iteration and we are using get child elements and this will give us uh, this name type or industry of this account right so that's what we are getting here and inside this iteration i am using field node dot get name now this field node is nothing but this one node or this node or this node right now using get name method of a particular node you can get this tag names okay so this name or type or industry right so you will get that in particular variable field name and to get this values inside node you need to use get text at, uh, method of this document class okay so just use field node dot get text and this will give you value inside these nodes okay once you get all those field name and its values you can use this conditional statement to assign values to the fields of account record okay and once you do that you just add account record into the list of accounts and uh, later on you just check uh, the size of account and if it's greater than zero you can insert the account record right so it's pretty simple to use dom parser and parse a xml request right and uh, if it is a very complex request then it would be very helpful to use this dom parser uh, instead of using some other way okay so now we can test this apex web service which is taking xml request and creating some account records in salesforce okay so we can go to our workbench so that we can mock a rest call to this salesforce we just need this url mapping here we have to select rest explorer and slash services slash app express and the url mapping here right and we'll have to select post method we can take the request body from here and add it inside this request body and click on execute let's see if we are getting success or not you can see we are getting 200 as a status that means we have created some records in the account of a salesforce so let's try to refresh this you can see we have two new records which are created using the xml request which we are sending from our workbench right so we have this account name right and uh, some other fields are also populated but that's not there i guess in the page layout we have account type and we have industry detail as well right so similarly we have another account records where we have this industry as manufacturing type as customer channel then account name and all those values right so that's how you can use dom parser to parse a xml request in salesforce and create some records or do some other processing stuff right so that's it for this video if you have any questions you can add in the comment section i would be happy to resolve that and uh, yeah do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you